So today I saw this a post on Chief Talk from Benny trying to create a balcony with a railing and having difficulty. So he posted this picture here to help us with what he's trying to accomplish. And I thought I'd make a quick video. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get started creating this, this balcony. And um, I've just got a simple little two-story house here and I'm on the second floor and I'm going to just take the railing tool here and just randomly just kind of draw this in here. And put it there. Now, as you can see, when I, I've created this room, let's double click in here and open this room. And it's unspecified. Just convert it to a balcony right here. Select room type balcony. You can go in here on the structure page and, you know, lower the floor, say one inch if you want for weather or whatever. But the big thing is right here, you're going to have to um, change the floor. So right off the bat, I'm going to just delete the floor finish for now and then edit this floor of this room. I'm going to delete this and change this to um, concrete. And you can pick it right out of your plan materials here. Maybe make it eight inches thick and click OK. And then also no room or I, you know, if these are checked, uncheck these and then just click OK. And then if we take a look at this, you will see you have a balcony. Now, the railing is lousy and you got drywall on the outside. So how do we address that? Well, it's pretty simple. That is created by the wall type. So let's open this. And you will see here the wall type is using interior railing for. And what I do is I usually just copy this and create my own. I would just call it balcony railing dash six. And then I would just um, delete this layer, delete this drywall layer, change this to six, just have a single layer, click OK and then change the rail style. Let's make it um, post to rail, panels, include top and bottom rail. Let's go to the newels here and change the newel to, let's make them square and just make them inch and a quarter square. And then let us pick a panel and just go into the chief's main library here. They got they got things like this glass right here and just pick glass panel right there. And let's space the newels about 72. Let us change the rails. So the rail here, I got this for the interior. See, so I'm going to replace it and I am going to go to the chief catalog here and go to handrails. And I'm going to pick something like this. And I'm going to make it retain aspect ratio. Make sure that's checked and make it two. And then let's see here, the bottom rail. Let us make that rectangular is fine. Let's just make it um, one by one. Oop. This is a case where you want to uncheck that. And Let's just take a look and see what we got before we get going here too far. I'm going to drag it around. Use this diamond handle right here. And let's just take a look at this to see what we got going. Oh, OK. We need to raise this um, up, you know, right here. So check raise bottom. Make it three and a half if you want. And um, there you have it. And of course, still the wood material, which we had before, but we can fix that. Let us go back to the plan view here and just click this around this way and this way and this way. You could select all these and change them at once, but I like to experiment. And once I got it, just drag them around. And um, it should look pretty good. Now we can just take our spray can here get like black or some kind of metal, whatever you want to make it and just paint these.
probably could have painted them all, but I don't know what else is inside on that's wood. So, and you can make these newels closer together if you want, just in certain sections like this section. Maybe you'd want the newels in this section to be 48 inches apart. And maybe in this section, you want them to be like 36 inches apart over here. And you can play around with that. Now, the other thing that Chief X12 has, like here, you probably want this at like 36. But the other thing that Chief has now is on the rail style tab is this start and end post. So I might put this at like three and put a full post. So now it'll pull that first post off the wall and let your rail continue, which I think is a fabulous new feature in X12. So same here, let's say three and then full post. And there you go. And then change this over here, double click and change the spacing to 36. And there is your balcony railing. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons why these these railings are inside this concrete is because of the thickness of the wall. What Chief does is centers this railing on the wall. So like if you go here, it, it shows the thickness is six inches. So the center of our railing wall is going to be three inches. So it pulls it off the edge. If if we had this at three inches, these, the, well, we can just change it right here and you'll see. Watch the railing. See how it moves out towards the edge. So that's how you can manipulate the rail and the location. I mean, if we open that again and we make this 10, you'll see it move way in. See? So um, that's how you can position your rail on your balcony. And um, one other thing, like if you really do want an edge on this concrete, I would just do this. I would hit this make room molding polyline. Blank molding, it'll be at zero and then open it. And I don't know why that's checked. No molding on selected edge, but we're going to take that off. And we will add a molding. How about an edge molding like this right here? Okay. And we're not going to extrude it inside the polyline. And we want it eight inches tall. And let's just take a look at that and see where that baby is. See if we can see it here. There it is. So, you know, it's pretty thick. <laughs> Probably I would... Let's just pull it out so we can see it. For some reason, it it has taken the... Uh, it hasn't applied it to any of these edges. i got to go down here to this tool and add molding. For some reason, I'm not sure why it's doing that. That is weird. But it's X12, it's brand new, and it's got quirks, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Who knows? It's cheap. We just have to fight this software and get it to work. So then pull this line back to the face of this um, concrete balcony. I'm going to change my grid snaps here to like one, and I'm going to turn them off, actually. And then I should be able to snap this pretty smoothly to the face. And let's see. Okay. Now let's take a look and see what we got. And we need to lower it. Um, let's open it again and put this to the top. There we go. And we have our molding. Let's look at it in vector. You can see it a little better. So if we took this right here and sprayed it with concrete, it would look like a concrete. We can maybe manipulate the size here a little, uncheck retain aspect, and maybe make it only two inches thick. It'll change this bevel angle, but I, I don't know. It might be okay. Um, so I don't know. It's not perfect, um, but you get the idea. You could make your own molding, which why don't we just do that? It would be a good lesson. So right off the bat, we want something that is, and I'm just using a polyline here, say one and a half inches thick, eight inches tall. And we are going to pull this down at a 45. 
and pull this up at a 45. There's our molding. Add the library and call it balcony face molding. Eight inch. All right. Watch this. Now you can actually just go here and replace from library. You click on the molding you just created. Click here and there you go. And there is your perfect molding. And now we don't have to worry about it. And there is your balcony front. And in standard, it looks really good. And that didn't take very long at all. You can actually put a roof on this. So, I mean, if you open it and you click roof over this room, ceiling over this room, you will get a roof following your railing wall. And if we wanted right here, we could change this to a gable. And there you'd have it. Um, put a door in here. Let's make it a glass panel. So let's make it 72. There we go. And center it. And there you go. Got your balcony. So that's today's lesson, Balconies 101. Pretty simple. Um, you can you can make this rail just like any rail. I mean, if you come in here and you go on rail style and you say post to beam, then you just change your newel to, I don't know, say four inches and space them, say, 96 inches. This is what you'll get. So, you know, the beam, the beam is a basically another it's just a rail. It's it's right here. So if you went six by, I don't know, 12. There you go. You could just take your eyedropper, get your white paint and paint it. There you go. Um, there's a lot of flexibility with the railing wall. And uh, I hope that helps. Uh, might generate more questions and answers. But uh, yeah, you should just play around with it and learn how to use it. It's pretty simple. Thanks for watching.